Hello my dear friends, welcome to Recycle Bin Tech channel. Today we are going to see an 5G modem. Actually this is a fiber modem. And this fiber modem we are going to convert like a router. Let us see how we are going to convert this router. And before that we will see the model number and the things which is in back side of this device. And you can see this uh, for yellow port and USB port and reset and uh, two uh, telephone socket and the power. And about this uh, router, this is about the detail like uh, Echo Life H HG A245W5. This is the model number G phone and the login IP address. Uh, everything is written over here. And uh, this is the fiber socket and uh, let us see the configuration now let us uh, connect the wi-fi it's written like y 2.4 g j 6 nk so this name will be backside of your router you can select uh, you can see the name which is appeared here and the uh, backside of this router is same after it's connecting it will not connect like an uh, internet but uh, we are going to configure now so we are going to enter the ip address which is given backside of the router <coughs> you can type same uh, ip address so it will be very easy to log in and uh, configure those steps after entering the IP address, just hit enter and uh, just uh, enter the username password to login. After entering the username password to login, just uh, we are going to select the option like uh, exit and other in that above options, we are not going to do anything. And uh, in this, we can see the diagnostic and home page and system information and advanced. Most of the things we are going to say, do in this advanced option. And uh, let us uh, uh, see some uh, options in advanced and you can see there are fast settings fast setting means the previous page only it will appear so we are uh, you'll see the advanced option in this we can see like a wide area network and this it's shown like this now we'll select the option LAN in this you can see LAN 1, LAN 2, LAN 3, LAN 4 the options are there and uh, you can see DHCP server, DHCP static and everything. Now let us click the LAN host and this is the primary address and secondary address is available and the server you can see DHCP replay option 125 and primary DHCP server extra uh, etc is there. And in below that also there you can see many options. In this below options we are not going to configure uh, anything because now we are at present we are going to configure this like an uh, router only in this security option we can see this uh, uh, version for uh, internet that filtering and uh, mac filtering wi-fi mac filtering parent control etc and uh, in this mac filtering uh, here we are not going to do anything in this mac filtering you can see the options like a blacklist everything in this only we are we are going to add the person we want to provide internet and we have to block the internet blacklist which will block and whitelist which allow the internet to connect if you click the option new and you can put like ssid it's one it's written and you can uh, see the mac address which is in the settings in the phone about there will be mac address just enter and save that one and the parent control parent control is the things which the children's when we are using their internet you can uh, block some uh, sites which the children's don't want to use so it will be in better uh, using the parent control and and this also same at present in this we are not going to do any things here also this time settings media sharing and lg DN, ddns it's more settings are there and in this we are just only configuring like a router only as i previously said you and in this wireless lan wireless lan we are going to re rename the wi-fi name and uh, password and uh, this is 2.4 in this 2.4 uh, 
you can put whatever the name you want enable ssid if you remove the enable ssid tick it will disable the wi-fi it will not show the wi-fi symbol outside and uh, here and uh, you can see here uh, wi-fi pre shared you can rename the password at present i connected this wi-fi with 2.4 so i'm not changing now i will change the 5 GHz, and after that i will change to 2.4 because one time we can uh, change it everything otherwise if i change uh, like a 2.4 again i have to come to change the 5g so better to take to do one time that will be better so you can put uh, like a password here after setting the password if you want to disable your wi-fi disable means the wi-fi signal which uh, the people uh, those who don't want to see outside you can uh, select the option like a broadcast i will uh, show you this one now I'll select the 2.4 and this 2.4 as I said you before we are going to rename it same like uh, like what we put the name for 5G now we are uh, renaming the for 2.4 and uh, setting the password for this one after setting the password as I said if you want to hide the Wi-Fi name like uh, you can see broadcast SSID just uh, disable uh, remove the tick so the wi-fi will be there but it will not show for outside <coughs> this is the broadcast ssid and you can manually you want to add the name so the uh, some people those who don't want to use the internet they cannot find the the internet name which is from the outside in this you select the name and uh, type the password to typing the password just uh, connect it you have to wait till uh, to connect this Wi-Fi it will not take more time but it will take little time maybe 60 second or 30 second to connect Now it's connected. After connecting, let us uh, see the. You can see it's cross symbol because it's still uh, it's not connected. When I con when we connect that uh, cable to this uh, device, it will show like uh, it's connected. This is the broadcast SSID. If you want, you can disable it. If you disable, it will be better. The Wi-Fi it will not show outside, and most of the people are. Uh, they cannot if I some software they are using and uh, connecting through that software and uh, they are uh, getting the password all these things you can block from uh, like uh, hiding the SSID that will be an uh, better after all uh, completing this this is about just to to select the best performance uh, you can see best efforts uh, synchronization based on AP capabilities at present what is that just to keep it like that so this is about the system information if you want to uh, some change some settings over here this is about uh, upgrading the firmware maintenance uh, changing these uh, settings to like a factory default like this and after that now we are going to the main section after renaming all this we have to do extra uh, again two three steps that is the main steps which will be connecting this internet now enable all this LAN 1, LAN 2 and LAN 3 and LAN 4. Why we are enabling means we can plug the uh, root in uh, the wire coming from the main router in this any port so it will be internet will be working. After uh, applying this you can see from here uh, like a DHCP ser server remove the three ticks from this and just to give apply. after this one just again uh, you can see that uh, LAN host select that LAN host and you can see as I said you before that a primary address secondary address in this primary address we will remove that one or uh, you, you can uh, just remove the tick from there from primary just uh, remove the tick and just you can save or uh, from there if you want if you want to change the ip from the top you can change the ip 
if you change uh, because why we are changing the ip means they don't want to appear conflict between the main router and uh, we are adding the new router that will be better so after that now i plugged the cable from the main main router to this 5g router just disconnect this wi-fi and connect it again let me uh, now i connected the wire to this router and just uh, let me disconnect and connect it again so that's all so now after programming i have connected lan 3 in this lan 4 lan 3 lan 2 lan 1 in this any port you can connect while programming time you can see in the lan port i have enabled like lan 1 lan 2 lan 3 lan 4 so in this any port you can connect the cable which is coming from the main router after that <coughs> you can work like a normal uh, uh, router this is how to configure this 5g router thank you for watching if you have any queries please text me on the command box we'll see you on the next video bye bye see you